You have got to be kidding me. This really pisses me off. I'm not going to lie. I'm so tired of people, especially professional athletes, some of the most privileged people in the country. I am so tired of these people turning themselves into victims. They think we're stupid. These people think that we are stupid. I'm tired of having my intelligence insulted. I don't know anything about Lewis Brinson. I never heard of him until yesterday. He's not a big name, and that's not a knock on him. It's just the truth. There aren't many Major League Baseball players that are household names. Lewis Brinson doesn't have a lot of mainstream attention. Suddenly on Monday, though, Lewis Brinson is the topic of conversation. Hmm. Funny how that worked out. Another example here of someone using the woke agenda to bring attention to themselves. This is absolutely pathetic. I am tired of people victimizing themselves for no reason but to get attention. Oh, I'm so hurt. Look at me. Someone called me the N-word, except he didn't really call me the N-word, but I'm going to pretend that he did so everybody will feel sorry for me. Maybe I'll even get an endorsement deal from Nike over this. For those of you that don't know the full backstory into what's going on or what I'm talking about, go check out my video I just did this morning. I don't want to repeat all of it here because we just talked about it a few hours ago. I had other videos planned for today. While I was doing some research, I saw this headline from the Sporting News, and I stopped everything I was doing to get to this story. Lewis Brinson must think that we are all idiots. He must think that none of us have ears. None of us can hear for ourselves. Lewis Brinson was speaking to USA Today on Monday, probably the first interview that he has ever given in his life. I highly doubt that he's ever been interviewed about his baseball skills. On the field, he's a bum. The first time that he ever hit over 200 was just last season. The Marlins, they use him sparingly here and there. Again, I'm not knocking the guy. I'm just pointing out that there is no reason for this guy to be famous. He's 27 years old. He's bounced back and forth between the majors and the minor leagues his entire career. There is absolutely no reason a national outlet like USA Today should have any interest in Lewis Brinson. Except, of course, to further the woke agenda. Do these people ever get tired of being used? Do they ever get tired of taking dirty money? Anyway, Lewis Brinson was speaking to USA Today on Monday, obviously about the incident in Colorado. I hesitate to even call it an incident. It was actually an overreaction and extreme negligence on the part of the Colorado Rockies for not fully investigating the situation before reacting to it. Here is what Lewis Brinson told USA Today, quote, All I know is that, in my opinion, it sounds a lot like the N-word, but I'm not that fan. I don't know what he said. I only have the video, and the video sounds like the N-word to me. But if he didn't, and didn't initially mean for him to make it sound like that, I'm sorry for all the backlash coming, end quote. Are you serious? Are you serious? First of all, Lewis Brinson, no one gives a damn about your opinion. If you're going to be this stupid, just keep your mouth shut. It's better for people to think that you're dumb than to open your mouth and remove all doubt. You said it yourself that you don't know what the fan said, but then in the same sentence... You said it sounded like the N-word. Obviously, you have auditory issues. I have listened to and watched this video countless times over the last 24 hours. The dude clearly says dinger. It sounds nothing like the N-word. Well, it sounds nothing like the N-word for those of us with common sense, to those of us who aren't actively looking for racism and everything. And he said something else interesting, too. That last part, if he didn't say it, I'm sorry for the backlash that's coming. I don't know if that fan's name has been released to the media. I pray to God that it hasn't and won't be. At the time of this recording, I couldn't find where his name had been released. But these damn people, they're going to ruin this guy's life over something that he didn't do. This fan will receive death threats 
People will stalk him on social media. And he's innocent. This is why it's always better to think before you react. The Colorado Rockies overreacted to this situation. We talked about that this morning. Lewis Brinson, on the other hand, this dude had 24 hours to think before talking to USA Today. He had a chance to watch the video. I'm just going to come out and say it. Lewis Brinson is lying. I'm calling him a liar. He's either a liar or he's an idiot, one of the two, because there is no way a reasonable person could watch that video and think that fan is calling him the N-word. Lewis Brinson is doing this to get attention. He wants to become the next famous victim, sell his soul to the woke agenda. He kept on talking. Here's what else he told USA Today, quote, I personally keep hearing the N-word. It's not that I want to hear it. I never want to hear that word. Personally, I've never been called that in person to my face on the baseball field or outside the baseball field ever. So I don't know what my reaction would be if I got called that, end quote. Huh. If you personally keep hearing the N-word, but you've personally never been called the N-word, then where are you hearing it? Do you listen to rap music? Every rap song I listen to has the N-word in it. Where are you hearing it? Is it on social media? He told USA Today that he draws the ire of racist fans on social media. That nameless, faceless accounts tweet him that disgusting word. I checked Twitter. I couldn't find any instance of this happening with Lewis Brinson. Now, it could have happened and been deleted or Twitter flagged it. I'm not saying that it hasn't happened. I'm saying I couldn't find it. Matter of fact, I'd be willing to bet that it has happened before. But you know what? Get over it. I'm not excusing that behavior because it's disgusting. But when you're a Major League Baseball player or a YouTuber, anything in the public eye, you open yourself up to criticism and yes, even idiot racist people. I deal with it on a daily basis. The comment section on YouTube, the comments that they hold from being published on my channel, it is a mile long. People calling me every name in the book. I get hundreds of them every day. Who cares? And more importantly, what does any of that have to do with the fan in Colorado? He didn't call you the N-word. He's not one of the idiots on social media. If I was that fan, I would be so pissed off right now. I rarely encourage lawsuits. I think lawsuits are a major problem in this country. People find reasons to sue for anything nowadays. And most lawsuits are frivolous. But if I were that fan, and my life was majorly impacted in a negative way by this incident, I would definitely sue the hell out of the Colorado Rockies. And if Lewis Brinson continues to victimize himself, I'd sue the hell out of him too. I'm tired of situations like this where professional athletes are turning themselves into victims. The real victim in this situation is that Rockies fan, not Lewis Brinson. All right, enough of me ranting about this subject. Like I said, I wasn't planning to talk about this again today, but this story broke as I was preparing another video and it just, it aggravated me. So here we are. Time to let me know what you think. Give me your thoughts on Lewis Brinson turning himself into a victim. Sound off in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive all notifications from the channel. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys later.